Hello everyone, Nathan here, and we're looking at a little, few, couple little updates that I have done. Um, this is in a new world than we were using last time, um, and it looks like I have spawned up at a high enough altitude that I'm in the clouds, unless I'm mistaken. Wow, well... This is kind of not what I was hoping for, but I guess it's alright. So let us take a look at some of the changes I have done. I know this is a new, brand new world, okay? So you'll notice that I have a few objects already here. Um, you start with a torch, which actually ten torches, um, steel machete, a bronze canteen full of water. And then a craft sign, which is semi akin to like unified inventory or something, in that you can put it out. I have to wait for some things to gen here because it is a brand new world. There we go. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't just give you everything, which I don't know why it's not. But. You can search, and again, like, I just started this world, so there's a lot of stuff that is all being processed behind the scenes and stuff. There we go. So, here's a list of wood things. Um, unfortunately, also, um, it gives you this no recipe available for survival machete wood, which is silly. <clears throat> Excuse me, which is silly because um, there is a craft for it, so I have to look into that because something is definitely not working there. Um, so yes, basically when you spawn into a new world, you are going to start with full hydration, full food levels, and ho 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 boy. The um, canteen of water is enough to pretty much refill your thirst three times ouch so pretty much gives you a day and a half two days to find water so that needs to be top priority is finding water because otherwise you're gonna die of thirst so none of this I'm gonna build a shelter right away no not in this game Shelter is secondary, um, and actually right now there are no mobs, so shelter isn't even needed. However, that will change. That will change much too soon. Um, so yes, we have this. Let us take a look at a few of the other changes. I just need to get some grass here. Okay, I have changed grass and jungle grass. You no longer get wheat seeds or cotton seeds from grass. Grass now drops, well, obviously grass. And there is a 1 in 15 chance that grass will give you a cricket. Crickets are edible and provide you a teeny, eensy, weensy little bit of health. Um, Again, because this world has just started. Oh, hey, here's one of my new nodes. I haven't gotten textures for everything quite yet. See, I just got a cricket here. Let's eat that guy. I really should run this on my desktop and just connect to it as a client. I'm going to try that next week. Um, so that is what we get from the grass now. Um, grass and crickets. We need grass, actually, to make torches now. Um, and actually, right at this very moment, you can still make torches with the old recipe. Because I haven't removed it yet. That will be changed, though. Um, these unknown objects in the trees um, are definitely happening a little too often. So that'll have to be changed. Those are bird nests. And a bird nest is going to have a chance of dropping a few items, which we will... Go attack a couple of those and take a look at what they drop. 
first I need to get some sticks here. And let's make a pickaxe real quick. Oh! No, I did not want to make wooden slabs. I'm an idiot. Okay, we need a pickaxe because we need to get some coal to make some torches. Um, we're actually going to need some stone. So I'm going to need to make a furnace first. Oh, that was sweet. That didn't make any sense, though, but that was sweet. Um, does that give me enough? I don't know. Okay, so we got four coal lumps and two small coal lumps. Now this is because of dense ores. Two small coal lumps will make one normal coal lump. So, as you of course know, that is how you make torches. However, that recipe is being removed. I just didn't get a chance to do it yet. The new recipe for torches is actually a two-step process. Um, torches still burn out. This is being made more realistic. I think I have enough. Okay. Eventually, I will make it so... Oh, Eventually, I'm going to make it so the grass will just dry out by itself. I know it's possible to do as the... Uh, I want to say it's the home decor mod pack. They, really, I can't bring wooden slabs? The home decor mod pack has meat that'll spoil by itself when it's in your inventory if it's not cooked. I'm going to analyze that code and use it to do the same thing for grass so the grass will just dry out by itself. I'm also going to make some changes to meat. Um, so here I just don't have a graphic yet for the dried grass. Uh, but pretty much you cook grass in a furnace to get dried grass, or it, you can let it dry out in the air. And then a torch is actually two pieces of wood and five pieces of dried grass around the top of it. Now this one gives you a weak torch. So let me show you what a weak torch looks like. Um, let's go to night. Put a weak torch out. It has a lightness rating of six. Now if you want to make a bright torch, you need one weak torch and a lump of coal, and then you get a bright torch, which is your normal default torch, which gives you your standard lighting. This one burns out after 480 seconds, which is 8 minutes. This one gives you 960 seconds, I think, which is 16 minutes. So you get twice the life and kind of approximately twice the brightness from a bright torch which is your default versus a weak torch. But of course, it's quite a bit more expensive as you need one coal lump per torch. Now you can also use charcoal, um, which, let me grab another chunk of wood. If I can, without killing myself here. I think we got that. Yep, another chunk of wood. Let's run back over to the Furnace, which of course has gone out. And we want to make a lump of charcoal. I don't know why I put two lumps in there. There we go, charcoal. And then we can take a weak torch and a piece of charcoal, and we can make a strong torch. Um, you do start with strong torches. I may change that to be weak torches. I may change that quantity. I'm not sure yet. So, those are two of the changes there. Uh, and then let's run over and look at this new note. And I'm going to change the time to be morning again. Um, these trees are doing this way too much. That ABM needs some very serious tweaking. I thought I had put it in so it was pretty infrequent, but evidently not. Um, this is a bird nest which will drop at random nesting material four pieces of which if you've ever dealt with bird nests they are usually very dry they make very very good kindling so this nesting material um i don't know what it's going to look like yet but it's pretty much sole purpose is to be used to make torches so there we get some more weak torches 
And then, and I think that's at way too high of a chance if I already got a crystal fragment there. Um, I'm going to do a few, and I'm, I might not even end up in the end including some of these drops in the nests. I kind of have to decide what type of ores and materials are going to exist in world. But there's going to be a slight chance that when you do a bird nest that you might get like a lump of gold or a diamond or something. S just very slim chances on all of these. Um, that messy crystal fragment I just got, I believe, is set to a 1 in 15 chance, which may be all right. I may have to change it. Um, currently, these bird nests are spawning way too frequently. The idea was that there would be like eh, maybe one or two to a tree. And I think the problem that I am having right now is the ABM is not running a check at all to see if there's any bird nests in the area. So I probably need to change my code so it checks. Because currently it's checking for leaves and a tree trunk. And if that exists, it'll put a bird nest out. I think I need to do another check to see how close the nearest bird nest is. And if it's too close to not spawn another one, because there should not be this many bird nests in a tree. And it should also only be spawning on top of leaves. I shouldn't have any bird nests that are at the bottom of a tree, because what is this sitting on? It just floats in the air, it's going to look dumb. So I need to do some tweaking on that yet. But the drop rate might actually be okay for the rare items, seeing as how I've only gotten one so far, and I have 57 nesting material. So that's probably working all right. Um, I did make a slight change to Thirsty here, um, because River Water has just been added into default game, and is, I think has been in the Valley map gen longer than it has been in default game. I could be wrong on that, I don't know 100%. But I just added two lines to the file for Thirsty so you can refill your canteen with river water. I may change this in the future. Um, and I kind of mentioned it when I filled out an issue on GitHub in the Thirsty mod that maybe uh, river water should be the only water that you can use for a canteen. And that just like normal water would be salt water or you know something akin to that. And that you couldn't drink it. So, I mean, he can do whatever he wants. It's his mod. But in my sub game, I may change that. I don't know. So that is just a little something to uh, keep in mind. That this may change. Everything is subject to change. I mean, this is in very, very infantile stages of development. Everything is just kind of figuring out what works, what doesn't work, how things work, everything like that. So, but I think those were the only major changes. You no longer get grass and wheat from, or what am I saying? You never, no longer get wheat and cotton from mining any of the grasses, and the torches are changed. Um, other than that, I don't think I've made any major changes yet. Um, of course, I still have a lot of textures to do, especially all of these unknown ones. Um, I will be changing, and I haven't yet because I haven't spent enough time with the code for Thirsty to know how to do this. Um, I will be changing it so when you eat... Come on, I thought I just saw an apple here. There we go. So, oh, I think I need to... So when you eat an apple, it'll actually replenish your thirst a little bit. Um, idea kind of being that some foods, such as an apple, have enough of a moisture content in them that they should rehydrate you. And this will um, add to the survival aspect as well, in case you spawn someplace where you can't find water. Because your canteen's only going to last you about two, maybe three days. So you're going to need to get water quickly. Now, of course, you can build a well. Uh, and that's 
for just out of my survival mod, where you build a well base, a well top, you need some rope and stuff to build a well, and that'd totally be doable. Um, but with that, you're going to have to mine through stone and stuff. And while currently exertion, the mod exertion is not in the sub game, I do plan on adding it. So you will tire out when you are uh, you're doing stuff. That's going to make you hungry and thirsty. So you're going to have to be careful to balance how you're working to make sure that you are conserving energy. So you do not die of hunger or starve or uh, what am I saying? They don't die of thirst or of starvation as you're trying to you know set up a little base camp where you can um, base everything out of and then branch out from your base camp once you have established a good water source which I mean it's as easy as making a well and that'll pretty much give you unlimited water until the well dries out which wells do so at some point your well will probably die and I I may tweak that too um, there's gonna be a lot of tweaking in this game to make it just so. Yes, out of the cave. Oh. It's quite some chasm. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers any of the changes that really have been done. Kind of highlights out some of the ideas of where this will be going in the near future. I don't really care for this as my spawn location. I don't know. I may I may end up starting a new game for the next time because come on, redraw. Cause this is kind of a a lame spot to set up base camp. I mean true, I've got plenty of fresh water. But not a lot of dirt and not too much wood. Please land in the water. Almost died. Almost died. So that is it, folks. I will. Yeah, this is this is just gonna turn trees into complete bird nests. That definitely needs adjusting. <laughs> I will catch you guys uh, next week. So thanks for watching. Um, code is not yet on GitHub. I would say, give me to like August or something. Because right now, this is really nothing more than a heavily modded default game. I really want to make it more of my own game before I throw it up on GitHub. I'm going to be making a lot of changes that are going to break stuff. Um, several mods I'm going to, that I am including right now, I'm going to eliminate because I'm restructuring things. So like right now, apples are part of default. They won't be. I'm going to change that. I'm going to do like a food mod, which is going to have all your food materials. So meats that the animals drop will be in the food mod. Apples will be all your crops are going to be in this food mod. Um, or maybe I'll do it in the farming mod. I don't know. But I'm going to do a lot of restructuring. So I don't want to put it out there and have somebody playing it. And, you know, there's an update. They update it and suddenly their inventory is full of unknown items. And, you know, they have all these unknown items growing because I've just changed what mod they're part of. And that would not be fun for gameplay. So I'm not going to do that to you guys. So that's why you have to wait to get this. Because otherwise, you're just going to end up playing it. And then you'll have all these unknown items. And you'll have to start all over anyway. Um, but I will be making this public before it's finished. Because I'm going to need some bug testing feedback like that. And of course, I'm still doing a lot of work on textures. Um, I may just do some real quick junky graphics as fillers and then continue to refine and hone those as I have the time and I'm able and um I get around to it. So yeah, thanks for watching and checking out this installment and I will catch you guys next week.